Hey everybody, how are you guys doing? It has been a really good week. It was really tough, but good in the fact that I learned a lot. So I have my notes open, so I'm just gonna go over like all that I kind of went, kind of learned and stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys have uh, been well this week. It's good to be able to talk with you guys. So this week was spiritual warfare, and uh, we focused a lot on how we can uh, just prepare ourselves and just we're looking to Jesus for all the examples. So first thing is like just clarifying that yes we do have the temptation to sin and it's not a sin to have the temptation it is the action of actually sinning and that we do have the ability to uh, be sinless. Like there's so many misconceptions like oh we're not perfect we're only human well, Jesus was 100% uh, God, 100% human, and he was able to do it. Yes, he had the Holy Spirit, but so did we, or so do we. So, uh, yeah, just getting that misconception out of the way at f just right off the bat, like, we're capable. It's just very hard, but with the Holy Spirit, we can do it. And then, well, we're sure, and the way that we can do that is by having intimacy with, with God. So by taking the time in the morning to talk with him, and uh, yeah, it's just really cool. Like I want to make another video because I've found, not found, but I was taught a uh, new way to like talk with God, and it's like two-way conversation. It's so cool. So you might have to remind me, but I really want to make a video showing you how you could have two-way dialogue with the Lord. It takes some time and some uh, some discipline. Sorry, bugs are being crazy right now, but. Like, after a while, it's just like, whoosh, whoosh. I got, like, almost a whole journal full of it right now. <laughs> it's so good. And then we're, then we talked about the two kingdoms that there are. Because whether you like it or not, you're a part of a, a kingdom. There's kings, there's laws, there's people, there's militaries, there's castles, treasures, and, of course, enemies. So, of course, there's the kingdom of the light, and that's with Jesus, and then the kingdom of darkness. And uh, it's really as simple as... Your actions determine which kingdom you're a part in. So if you're living in continual sin and don't truly repent, then you're living in the ways of the uh, kingdom of darkness. But if you're trying with uh, all your might and like walking away from sin and like living in a life of repentance, then you're living in the kingdom of light. And uh, he went into both kingdoms. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like before Jesus came, like everyone was in darkness because the Holy Spirit wasn't here to help. And God couldn't really explain the things that Jesus explained, like the laws having much deeper meaning, like adultery and uh, like that it's not just the action, but if you have it in your heart, like, oh yeah, I want to go sleep with that man's wife, like that is a sin, you know, and they didn't have the Holy Spirit, so they couldn't really understand that. So up until Jesus came, like, they were living in darkness. And that's why it was such a uh, different time back then before Jesus. And that we're living in a new era now where we have that understanding. And, oh my gosh. And it just leads to that. Like, and, like, one of the bigger revelations, like, I think it, like, it seems pretty obvious. But that's not a natural thing. Like, the Lord wanted a lifelong... Uh, relationship with us but thanks to sin it opened up death and like we're supposed to just have uh, an eternity with the Lord and we still have that but there's just the obstacle of death and that's because of the sin that was brought into the world do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. and then it's just like really just pounding in that the Lord created us for love like that he it's just the whole universe was created out of love he wanted to create things that he could have relationships with that he could uh work through things that he could uh work in the kingdom and just love and walk side by side with us so he's just remembering that mm -hmm. and if you uh read the bible it's just like we focus so much on salvation when the lord only mentions it only so much you know but what he's always mentioning and in the uh 
the daily prayer. It's asking for the kingdom to come. And I just found that so good because the Lord talks about the kingdom because he wants it to be here. Like wherever God is, goodness will be. So there are cities like this city is not a city of God. So where God is not, you can't really blame him for the things that happen there because God's a relational God and he's only where he is invited to be. Like, yes, he is uh, omnipresent, omniscient, and he is everywhere, but he doesn't have that authority everywhere because he gave us the authority, and we're, we have to walk together in that authority. So just learning that was, like, crazy. So wherever he's not welcome, you know, just sin in the kingdom of darkness has its way. And uh, it's just amazing how much blame God gets when it's like if we just invited him there, that it would uh, correct itself like it'd be a process but yeah, it'd be really good mm -hmm. yes 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 <laughs> oh yes that was really cool evil was in existence before we were even created like there's it's been a lifelong war that like not lifelong but uh an eternal war like like, before he created us, he was having trouble with uh, Lucifer, and uh, despite all that, he made us in order to help um, combat that, like, and that's just so cool. And, and uh, it's just uh, reiterating that the enemy has authority over those who don't obey and follow God, and the devil brings condemnation, whereas the Lord brings uh, conviction. And the difference between that is condemnation is an overwhelming guilt that saddens you, and a conviction is like a correcting. Like, it's just like, hey, hey, like putting you back under the road. It's like, whoosh, whoosh. whereas condemnation is like pushing you off, and it's like, yeah, you made a mistake, so uh, go lay in pity and go be depressed. No, that, that's, that's, not, yeah, that's not what we're all about. So it's good. Mm hmm. So yeah, it's just uh, the enemy is there at the, just with God and just condemning each one of us. Jesus is like, look at that mistake that they made. Look at that mistake that he made. Because Jesus doesn't see that. He has just complete love for us. And as soon, and when we're repenting, he just sees the best in us. Like, it's amazing. Like, just the book of Job, like, that's such a uh, conflicting book. But it's just that God had such good faith in Job that he would follow uh, God through thick and thin, very thin, and uh, wow, yeah, just knowing like, hey, he's my good son, like I have complete faith in him, that he's going to follow me and love me and uh, not blame me for all the things that have been going on, and uh, yeah, like it's a good book, but be careful reading it, because it, it's, I don't know, not necessarily be careful, but like, it's a tough book. <laughs> but yes, we need codependence on God. And really, it's just looking to the Lord, you know, like just praying into those attacks because the devil only has authority where you let him have authority. So if you're living a nice, clean life, yes, you will still get attacked, but you can just repel those attacks and really just look to the Lord for that strength. Like I've had to do that this week. I just had extreme tiredness and just some bickering, but... It was good. Like I just prayed into it, and uh, the Lord gave me energy to go through the day. And there's just a huge emphasis on deliverance, like deliverance from any spirits that are uh, like holding you captive. Like for me, it was the spirit of inferiority. I just always felt like everyone else was better at, than me at any of the, my strengths and especially my weaknesses. And the Lord wanted me to know that he made me in those strengths for a reason. That I'm not less than anybody else, but that I have to measure myself against myself, and not anybody else. That comparative spirit is such a bad spirit because God's given us each different gifts and different things that we have to look forward to and uh, be strong in. Like, that's why he made us all different because we're all supposed to lead different parts of uh, his kingdom. So that was like really good uh, revelation this week. Like, it's like, of course, you mean don't feel inferior, but it's just, 
you live a life where you've just believed it your whole time and it's really hard but yeah just getting some of that breakthrough this week was really good and uh it's going on 10 minutes so yeah i guess if you guys have any questions just please let me know and uh i love you guys and uh yeah i miss you um please send me your prayer requests and uh anything else that you need to be uh talking with yeah just tell me your story show me what you uh been doing all right i hope you guys have a good time and uh see you next week